Welcome to Caribbean Global Network News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. In today's headlines, teacher mauled by dogs still in critical condition. And in sports, Brianna Williams' hearing begins today. A St. Richard's primary grade 6 teacher remains in critical condition at the University Hospital of the West Indies after being mauled for hours by four pit bulls on Thursday. She was jogging on Woodland Way in Coopers Hill, St. Andrew. Information surrounding the attack is that the teacher lost an ear, her legs were torn apart and had wounds so deep the doctors could hardly stitch them together. Reports reaching CGN are that the dogs have since been taken from the owner. The animals were removed on Saturday with the assistance of the Jamaica Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, JSPCA. Phillips promises justice for all at party conference. Dr. Peter Phillips opened his address to the People's National Party's 81st annual conference inside the National Arena in St. Andrew with Psalm 1. He declared that he will operate with bias toward none and justice for all. His beaten challenger for the post of party president Peter Bunting did not speak from the platform as was disclosed last week. However, Dr. Phillips congratulated him on a well-run race. On September 7, after he won the presidential election by 76 votes, Phillips immediately offered an olive branch to Bunting and his supporters. And in sports, Brianna Williams' hearing begins today. The Independent Anti-Doping Disciplinary Panel, IADP, will begin the three-day hearing in the case of Jamaican junior athlete Brianna Williams today at the Eden Gardens Wellness Resort and Spa. The Jamaica Anti-Doping Commission, JADCO, will be represented by Ian Wilkinson, while Emir Crown will represent Williams. The hearing will determine if the 17-year-old world junior record holder is liable for blame for her positive drug finding in June. Williams tested positive for the banned diuretic hydrochlorothiazide, HCTZ, at the National Senior Championships, where she placed third in the 100 meter. HCTZ is prohibited from use by the World Anti-Doping Agency because of its ability to mask the presence of performance-enhancing drugs. KC extends winning streak. Defending Manning Cup champion Kingston College continued their winning streak in the first round of the Issa Digicel Manning Cup competition on the weekend when they hammered Cedar Grove Academy 8-0 at the Stadium East Field. Kingston College has not lost a game in the first round of the competition since 2014 when they were beaten by Waterford High School and their North Street neighbors St. George's College twice. Team coach for the team Ludlow Bernard said in order to keep the team motivated and focused, he tries to rotate the players, maintain the intensity and see if the players who take to the pitch can boost their confidence. That's it for your CGN News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. Pleasant viewing.